Welcome to the Lively Report. I'm Lacey Lively and today we're going to meet Garrett Martinek and he is our traffic systems foreman for the city of College Station and I get to see what his job's all about. Let's go. Garrett? Yes. Hi, I'm Lacey. Good morning, Garrett Martinek. How That's are you doing today? I'm pretty good. Good. So tell us what I get to do for traffic systems foreman. Well, I'm the traffic systems foreman. Mm -hmm. I'm over the signs and markings department and the traffic signal department. And today we're primarily gonna focus on the signal department. Well, it's what I do on a daily basis, I try to if I get a chance, is I'll come in here and I'll go ahead and I'll send the time out because the time drifts on these clocks. And if we can have them second to second, each flasher will come on at the same time every morning. Because if they don't, we'll get calls. One is on, the other's not. Right, we so. get the angry calls. Is that the dial-up I hear? Yes. Reminds me of AOL, Little Rain Man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. Hopefully in I haven't future, heard that in a long time. We're gonna go meet Juan and Frank. They're doing cabinet maintenance this morning, which is one of our things we do every month. We go to every okay. cabinet, inspect, and I'll take you out there and explain to you what we do every month. All right. I'm liking this color. Big time. Well, are you ready? I am. Let's do this. To? We're headed to Harvey Mitchell Parkway and Texas Avenue. Juan and Frank will be doing cabinet maintenance there this morning and just going to kind of explain what we look for, what we check every month, issues we could possibly find. It's kind of a preventative type, type of maintenance where we can actually catch problems before they become problems. How many traffic signal cabinets are in the city of Cold Station? We have a total of 75 intersections in the city, which would mean we have a total of 75 cabinets that we have to go by and inspect every month. Park off to the side because we typically spend 10 to 15 minutes doing maintenance and we don't want to be out in the roadway you know, holding up right. traffic. So we try to get out of the road, park on the sidewalk or whatnot. So now we're at a cabinet, traffic signal cabinet. This is oh, Juan and Frank and they're doing cabinet maintenance today. Hi. There's a lot of cords in there. Right now what they're doing is they're checking all the voltages to make sure we have, you know, 120 coming into the cabinet, make sure it's not sat the voltage isn't sagging. What does sagging mean? Going <laughs> down below, you know, one 110, 108, okay, 105. So it needs to be a certain amount. How long does the monthly ma maintenance of each cabinet take? It typically takes two to three weeks. Head buttons are the pedestrian walkways. The pedestrian okay. buttons, yes. I'm learning these terms. <laughs> Which the guys, and I'll show you here in a little bit, they actually, they look at the controller and they put the screen, they pull the screen up where it shows if a pedestrian call comes in. And one of the guys will go walk every button and he'll push it and the guy at the cabinet will give him a thumbs up if it's working. If it's not working, then we will go get the tools out of the truck and we'll fix it on the spot before we leave. So those pedestrian buttons actually work? When yes. You come they, up, you need to push it. They do work, yes. This is a controller. The controller is like a computer. It controls the whole intersection. This is the brains of the cabinet. It's running that whole it's intersection. Just, it's just this intersection? This yes, side. just this intersection. Mm -hmm. So which tool can I safely use? Uh, I'll let you use this voltmeter here. Voltmeter? Kind of sounds scary clip around, just clip this meter around this red wire. Next we're going to go to George Bush and Anderson where Curtis and Jimmy will have a work zone set up and they are replacing signal heads today. Oh, that's exciting. Let's see how that's done. Yeah. So if you're ready, we can head that way. I'm ready. How do the traffic signals know when a fire truck's coming up? Yeah, up on each each pole you see that little black 
round looking yes. unit up there. The fire truck has an emitter on it that emits a flashing light and that preempts the signal, which means it gives them a green straight through and a green arrow to where if they need to go this way or that way and it holds every, everything else okay. up around. So they have priority. We were going through George Bush and replacing all the signal heads along here. They were operated under using an incandescent bulb and this is our last corridor that has bulbs and they will all be LEDs now. It will now have black heads with back plates and it will have LEDs. So that is our last one in the city that we'll be replacing all the fixtures on. So. Installing signal heads, light heads. What do you call them? Uh, we call them signal heads. Signal heads, I was right. As you can see, we set up, a, set up the proper work zone. This here is Jimmy. are taller than me. Yeah, I wish I had a five section so you could <laughs> you could see the actual size of the of the big ones. But these here are new heads, new back plates. It's a louvered back plate which allows the back plates kind of give it and add it, makes the signal head look bigger so the drivers kind of see more and accents it. This here is an it's an LED module. It takes away all that the bulbs and all that maintenance part of it. And this is just a three section. These things are like my size, Lacey size. He said this was just a three section. So I can't imagine what the five? Yes. The five section would we be. We have threes, fours, and fives. Oh. And the fives are, you can add two more sections to this. So. I'm pretty short. Or these are pretty big. I think they're big, not, I'm not short. Garrett just went to check on to see if I can get up in the bucket truck. I don't have much bucket truck experience, but I think I can handle it. Man. Maybe kind of big, but basically you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna just throw, slip it on like this. Uh-huh. These are, these are a requirement now. We have to wear harnesses. harnesses. Yeah, I think I'm, this thing's kind of heavy. Like this? Yep. Where does that snap? And then it snaps. Oh. It snaps into there. Hmm. This is the first time I've ever pull it pull it through the. I, I did it wrong. All right, Lacey, this is Jimmy and Curtis. Hi. They're they're replacing signal heads today, like I mentioned earlier. That's if, exciting. If you want, you can get in the bucket, yes. and uh, we'll take you up and kind of get a feel what it looks like from up above. Perfect. Thank y'all. Okay. okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. Crawl on it. Crawl on up there. Uh oh. You can break her down. if I injured myself. <laughs> okay, I definitely like my desk job. <laughs> oh, where's the step? There you go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thank y'all. Oh, Thank you very much. As you can see, it's it's kind of dangerous up there. It is. Not only it's while you're bumpy. while you're up there working, you know, you want to make sure you don't drop anything on the roadway because right. you could potentially go on somebody's windshield. We, in this operation, we always have a minimum of two people. The reason why is because we don't work over an open lane anymore. We work under the head that's in that lane because we don't want to reach over traffic because 18 wheelers, they're really tall. It's unexpected. You don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right. We got greens. We're good to go. Right. 
People will call and say that uh, the traffic signal is not working properly or it's not cycling properly. Or sometimes we'll get a call that there's a you know green light out or red light out. Well, it's what during the working hours normally call 3690, 764, 3690. That's Public Works front office, and they will dispatch us out. If it's after working hours, they call usually call utility dispatch, which I think all the information is on the city city website as far as what numbers to call. Well, thank you so much for showing us around today. Oh, you're Behind welcome. The traffic signals. I guess I need to give you my gear back. <laughs> Unless you want to hire me full time. You're welcome to come back anytime you wish. Ah, I'll leave it to the professionals. I had fun today. Thank All right, you. Thank you. You have a good day. Well, I got to see how traffic signals operate, how they install traffic signal heads, and I got to go up in a bucket truck. I think that's a wrap. See you next time.